Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another card review. So today I'm going to start off the card review for the Seven Sins collaboration. Right, so starting with Ben the Fox, Sin of Greed. Okay, so same thing. We're going to go through the leader skill, team skill as well as active skill for this particular card. So what we have here is a basic multiplier of times 6, right? So team attack, so there is no race restriction or attribute restriction whatsoever. Okay, so that's good. Number 2, single attack becomes full attack. Um... I'm not sure whether this is going to be an advantage or disadvantage in my opinion but because to me in, uh, to me it feels like a disadvantage because uh, you take example like ultimate stage whereby usually battle one there will be two mobs right so the usual strategy will be to kill off one and store on the other so when your single attack becomes full attack it, you are unable to do that and that is going to impact your stalling strategy okay so I'll just leave it at that and let you guys decide whether it's an advantage or a disadvantage. Okay, so point number three, convert 45% damage received from non-demon enemies into HP recovery. All right, so note that you'll be more than 45% if you play leader ally Ben. Okay, and you only do that for non-demons. So take note, there, there is two things to take note here. Number one is that uh, you have to tank the full damage first before recovering the HP. Right, so which means that you must have a certain decent amount of HP before you can kind of do this convert, um, HP recovery convert. Okay, number two, it is only from non-demon enemies. Right, so I'm not, sh I I don't really watch Seven Sins the anime, right, but uh, there might be a lot of demon enemies in this collaboration. So I'm not sure whether his HP recovery will come into play very often for this particular patch, but. After this patch, I think it should be okay. Okay, so just putting it out there. And last but not least, uh, by dissolving three more than three groups or equal three groups of runestones, team attack times two additionally. Right, so we have a six times two, and then that's about it. Right, so notice that there is no extend movement time, there is no damage reduction, there is no stat boost as well in terms of HP and recovery. So this is a very big, major no no for this card. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, team skill. So as I was looking through the team skill, I was expecting it to have some sort of extend room movement time and something like that in the team skill since they didn't have it in the leader skill, right? But no, don't have, okay? So team skill, we have fire, light, dark, possess effect of each other. So this shows that uh, playing band, although it's a universal multiplier, is more fit towards a fire, light, dark play style, okay? So when HP is full, you, you have a team attack times two additionally. And if not, uh, ben himself will have a times 5 additionally uh, multiplier. Alright, so uh, a bit of pros and cons there. Uh, I'll explain more later. Right, and the last part will just ignore burning as well as uh, team will not be poisoned. Okay, so uh, going back to the team multiplier here, the, the one that fluctuates between team attack times 2 and ban times 5. So here you can kind of um, do a bit of um, play style whereby you can see that you can control which multiplier you want, right? So, I believe most of the time you will want team attack times 2 and certain scenarios whereby you have high defense and stuff like that, you will want ban times 5. Okay, so maybe you can bring in a card that actually reduce, uh, saps your HP uh, to do this ban times 5 situationally. Okay, just to put out some sort of suggestion. Right? I don't really have much card um, suggestions right now, right? But just suggesting um, what kind of play style you can go about uh, playing Ben. Okay, and finally, let's take a look at his active skill, which is at CD6, uh, decent uh, length. Right, so for one round, attack of other members, other team members and enemies minus 80%, and then you add that into your into Ben, right? Uh, there is no <coughs> there is no stats cap, so I believe uh, it's going to be the attack stat is going to be what it is, right, after the uh, accumulated amount. So after that, damage dealt on demon enemies by ban times 5 additionally, right? So the most um, ideal situation would be having your ban times 5 for the team's, team skill, and then you have a times 5 here additionally for that massive damage burst, right? So since all the other members uh, will have their stats reduced by 80%, Right, so it, does, it doesn't make sense for you to trigger team attack times 2. Right, so you want your HP to be not full when using this active skill. Right, so it's a very 
uh, it's a very hard to trigger kind of situation right? especially when you ignore burning so you don't you can't really use burning to kind of uh, burn part of your HP off and stuff like that right but uh, overall I find that this card here is um, hugely not qualified to be a jackpot card at all okay a bit harsh there but I have to be honest with you guys so uh, if you talk about team members, maybe I can give some suggestions like fire, light, dark playstyle as I mentioned just now, right? You can put in things like, um, I would say you try to put in more 8 star cards like Chaos, like Anubis, uh, so that they have uh, higher stats, more stats boost. And from there, uh, team attack of other members minus 80%, you kind of get more stats into Ben himself, right? On top of that, you can actually make use of Chaos uh, Anubis 8 star passive right to kind of increase the overall team HP right because this this uh, band play style I believe falls under falls around 20 plus thousand HP right in which uh, based on current meta it is not it is not the most um, it's not the best amount of HP you can have while, while playing okay especially when you have to tank uh, enemy attack just to have a HP recovery. If you do not have enough HP recovery, uh, if you do not have enough HP in the first place, you won't even get that HP recovery. You you just die, right? So overall, I think that Ben is a very poorly made card, and hopefully he gets some revamp, right? Uh, I don't watch the anime, but there are, there might be some people out there which is a fan of this particular character, right? So hopefully, may he look into this and maybe have give him some HP buff or maybe give him some damage reduction or even extend room movement time right because this card right here as a 4.5% card is pretty ridiculous right and weak as well okay so overall this is my card review for this particular card Ben right if you enjoy this card review do give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye